after reflecting on the bread of life discourse in uh, the sixth chapter of John for a few Sundays, our liturgy brings us back to the Gospel of Mark, where Jesus confronted the Pharisees and the scribes on the real essence of worship. The Pharisees and the scribes had come from Jerusalem and must have visited the temple there to worship God. Then they observed and questioned that Jesus' disciples did not do the ritual of washing their hands before eating. Quoting prophet Isaiah, Jesus strongly responded, You hypocrites, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. While the Pharisees and the scribes focus on the human-made practices to be acceptable to God, Jesus emphasizes the disposition of the heart. Moses, in our first reading from Deuteronomy, talks about the law of God. Moses said to the people of Israel, Hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live. Moses invited them not just to listen to God's commandments, but also to observe them. The integration of the two will then be the evidence of Israel's wisdom and intelligence before all the nations. Our responsorial psalm explicitly mentions how to observe the law. Our psalm says, one who does justice will live in the presence of the Lord. In our second reading, St. James speaks about the natural law in our hearts and the concrete expressions of observing the law. He said that God's law, the word of truth, is already planted in one's hearts. And so he urged them not just to embrace it, not just to welcome it, but to also act on it to care for the orphans and the widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. A religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father, St. James said, is a religion that does justice, shows mercy, and compassion. My brothers and sisters, our readings challenge us today to be both listeners and observers of the Word of God. Sometimes, we are like the Pharisees and the scribes who fall into the trap of being strict in observing rituals, yet we forget to be generous to our neighbors. We may have the tongue in praising God, but at times we also find ourselves using it in destroying somebody else's name. We may be faithful to our devotions as parishioners or members of our prayer group, yet sometimes we fail to devote and establish better relationships with one another. We may be respectful in receiving communion at Mass, yet we find ourselves source of division and hate in our community. Indeed, the mark of our being true Christians is when we both listen to the Word and act on it. As we continue this Mass, may our worship today help us to welcome God's Word in our lives. And as we receive the Word in our hearts, May we also observe them with justice, mercy, and compassion. Amen.